my channel my name is amy and i'm here reacting to the second part of bi's full-length album um if you guys have not watched the first one the first part i'm gonna put the link up here so you guys can go and check that out um i did the first six songs and now i'm going to the last six songs i'm actually very excited uh, the first six songs were amazing so my vibe when it comes to the type of music that i like to listen to especially lately because you know the older you get you start your music your taste in music kind of starts changing after a while but i do like i like the vibe of the whole entire album up to up to half of half of the album that i've listened to um i really really enjoyed it i'm actually seeing uh you guys probably don't know but i this technically i, I am a new like i i just started reacting to icons so i don't know much about them um as like i'm starting to do icon tv and all this stuff and i don't know much about like how they write or anything like that obviously bi is not a part of icon anymore but i still say ot7 but anyways um i'm actually very excited to see how he wrote these songs what was going on in his head the way that he actually writes is really really beautiful he's very raw but in a beautiful way it's not so disrupt or like in it's in your face but it's kind of like he's like he's like telling you stuff like harsh words in a nice way like with anesthesia type of thing i freaking love it <laughs> i don't know if i'm making sense but i actually really do enjoy it i've enjoyed the first six songs um i'm probably gonna say that numb is probably my favorite one so far um the words just were the words hate man and um i'm actually excited to see the other six also i decided to do the lyric video because i just wanted to feel what like i i obviously i don't speak korean and i wanted to make sure that i was just reading the lyrics and making sure that i felt what he what what he wanted us to feel and what he wanted to portray in his music and i think later on i will be probably doing like the music videos and stuff that he did for these songs um, but I just wanted to kind of like now I react I'm reacting to the lyric videos I know that they're not 100% accurate and that's fine um, But I just kind of like it kind of has like the actual like gist of what Exactly what it means. So so I'm okay with doing the lyric video um, If you guys don't like it, oh, I'm sorry but, <laughs> but I'm actually very excited to continue to react to the rest of his songs The one that I'm doing right now is help me and I'm actually very excited to see, like, to continue because honestly, these freaking songs are so good. Like, so far from what I've heard. But anyways, let's get on with Help Me. I'm a liar, Yo, his voice, man! expect the chorus to sound like that this song <laughs> i feel like you could listen to it like in a like in a teenage like breakup like in a teenage movie like that you would like that they break up and they're like running in the rain or something i don't even know but this song <laughs> reminds me so much of that oh my gosh this is so good Have you ever feeling like so much in a gibu now? Look at the jammy dirt that you may not share and share them. The little man and German, the little tabu dead about more to one than they will check a good one. One little gum drunk, no dunga. The mom dead or twenty needy hana on the soaky tongue. Pink or peggy jack and bush, she had to the rock on another ship. Keep us a chin and check out. Tongue in back, Sonia. 
the drum. I don't even know. This sounds so like alternative. I don't even know. It's really cool. Like his diversity is really cool. Like when it comes to like diverse genres and stuff. It's crazy. I'm gonna wait until song finishes. <laughs> It's crazy how his voice, you would think that his voice only goes for one genre, but honestly, it goes with a lot of other genres. Like, it's crazy how the songs are all so different and they've all been so, like, di different genres in a sense, and his voice is goes well with all of them. Like, it's insane. The funny thing is, if you guys probably don't know or if you guys have probably heard, but I love albums that flow. Like, I, for me, it's like if it's super random, I don't like the flow of stuff like that. Um, I don't know. But that's just me because I'm like, I guess I have like OCD or something. I, I like things to go like have a flow to it. And this one, even though they're different, for some reason it flows. I don't know how to explain it, but it's actually really, really good. Um, I'm actually super surprised at how different they are, but it actually flows to it flows I, I don't know how to explain it i don't know if i'm making any sense but anyways um uh, i'm actually going on to remember me i i feel like the all of these songs are are sad i don't even know <laughs> but anyways let's go on with remember me look you guys see how different this is from the last one what the heck bro oh Hey. <laughs> I was trying to figure out where it was this, where this beat was going. Oh. Oh, 
Also, there was one part in the verse. There was one part in the verse where he was saying something, but you heard like an ad lib in the back. He was saying like having like a kind of like a conversation, and I don't think the lyrics actually said what it, what he was saying in the back. But if you guys know, let me know because I I heard like he was like talking in the background, but I don't know what he was saying because I don't think the lyric video actually got it. Um, but I actually really like. Uh, that one was completely different. I, I keep saying that, but honestly, it was completely different than the first one, than the other ones. Um, didn't expect that vibe to be like that, but for some reason it worked. I don't know how to explain it. Also, he, I'm pretty sure he's been in a relationship because it cannot be that he can write like that and be heartbroken and make you feel stuff and then make it seem like he's never been in a relationship. I'm questioning, Hanbin. Just saying. But anyways, <laughs> the next song that I'm going to be... The next song is actually Stay. Uh, it's actually featuring another artist, Tableau. Um, I'm actually excited because I, I've, I, I have liked his collabs. Like, I like the Lehigh one. And I also like the one that he did with, um, the one that he did, How You Like That. That, that, was, that collab was actually very good, too. Um, but let's see how this one is. Let's go. Yo, these songs, bro. Oh. Usinai Yeah, you've had enough, you keep sadding up Guess our connection was bad, we keep breaking up Now you're crying in my arms, cause you're so done with it Pounded on my chest, cause my heart's not in it, I know Ain't no love infinite, don't mean to whine I'll put a cork in it, but let me pour my heart out For the last time, if you gotta go, leave it all behind Leave your comb, leave your toothbrush, leave your bathrobe Leave your books, leave your Polaroids, send the candles Leave your pain, worries, and your regrets Baby, let them stay, like you never went away I'm already missing you, missing us And in here somewhere I'll go missing too, straight disappear into thin air So can't you just I want you to stay, want you to stay, want you to stay Oh, I, I really like his verse too. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Well, that was cool how it ended. Like, I really like how it ended. Uh, not because it ended, but 
I like how he kind of like took off all the music and you just kind of like hear his voice. It was really cool. Um, I actually really like the the vibe, like the like the voice differences of Tableau and him, but it actually made it work. And I really like Tableau's um, verses, which were really, really cool, spot on. I'm pretty sure everyone has felt that. Hey, everyone has felt that, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, but I really did like the vibe. I liked how cool it was. It was very chill. Um, but like always, the words are always, you know, on point, man. But anyways, um, the next song is actually Grey. Uh, I, I don't even know what to expect anymore because honestly, I've been surprised every time these songs start. So I'm actually excited to see what this song is about and how it sounds and everything. So let's get to it. like numb in the sense where it's so like the words are so dark and so meaningful but the vibe of the song is not so it's kind of like it literally when you read the lyrics when you're just like i'm not sad i'm not happy like i'm just literally not feeling like literally it's literally that like you feel like that like you're you're not feeling anything but you have all these emotions all at once but at the same time you're so like not feeling anything but it's like it's sad but then you kind of have to i didn't even explain it my brain's all over the place but i understand what i'm trying to say i don't know if you guys understand this i'm just like literally i'm i'm trying to like make sense but i don't think i am uh the sound of the song it's like literally kind of like the exterior of how you should feel like i don't know how to explain it or pretty much like the sound of it is what you portray like outwards to people like you don't want them to worry or you don't want them to feel what you're feeling so you're kind of like faking it or you try to make it seem that you're okay but literally the inside of it which is like the lyrics are like literally how you feel i i don't know if i'm making if that made any sense but at least i'm trying to figure out <laughs> what's the best way to say it but literally it's that like i don't know but the, the song is actually really good too i don't even know how to explain Ugh, man <laughs> This is probably like my favorite part. His his voice sounds so good. No, I like the breakdown Oh, 
Yo, all of his songs are like really good, man. Like, I not that I was ex like surprised, but like it's so good. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. But I don't know if I express myself the way that I should have. Like, I I don't know if you guys understood what I was trying to say. But hopefully, I did. I, I'm still trying to grasp exactly what I was trying. <laughs> Cause I know what in my in my mind I know what I'm trying to say, but I I am not really that good with words. I guess I don't know. But anyways, the next song the song then so let's, let's continue with this uh album review journey Oh. Oh, no, no, Is this song about the group? I'm just gonna say it's about a breakup, but like, is it about the breakup? No. I, I, maybe I'm just getting ahead of myself and I'm just thinking stuff that are not true but if it's what I'm thinking about please let me know in the comments down below because that was a little it felt like a little too personal um the song was ac it's actually pretty short well I don't know it felt short to me <laughs> it felt short to me um, but I actually really like the lyrics of that one. I'm gonna say it's about a breakup of a girl, but if it's about the breakup of the band, then that hurts. <laughs> Let's get on with the last song. Uh, it's called Rebirth. And man, I, I, so honestly, I, I really think I'm gonna, I, I know I'm gonna buy this album. This album is really good. Like, the whole entire thing. There's not one song that I could be like, eh. Like, honestly, they've all been pretty good. They've, all of the songs have been good. That, and that's really rare because sometimes there are albums that you could like skip a song or two but this one is like a no skip album so far it's actually really really good but anyways here's uh the last song is called rebirth and yeah let's get to it hey this <laughs> please tell me it's an uplifting song please 
album this song this album is probably one of the best ones that i've heard honestly in a while um the lyrics are so meaningful it, you can tell that he wrote his like life or whatever he was feeling in the past two years honestly he really wrote it down and you felt it if you listen to this album and you read the lyrics and you don't feel what he's feeling like you're, you're an emotionless like monster i don't even know how to say like honestly this album is so beautiful. Um, wow. Like, I never expected to actually like a whole album of an artist that I don't, I barely know. I, I'm going to become, I don't know much about them. Like, like I said, I'm starting to getting to know them. And I'm like, like, wow. Like, he's a lyric genius <laughs> when it comes to like writing. This is so beautiful. The last uh, Rebirth is so beautiful. It's probably my favorite one. Maybe. I don't know. I have to listen to the whole album again. Um, but this this album is finally... It's going to be stuck on repeat. Like, I know myself. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be probably on my top top albums of this year. So far. Like, we're already more than halfway. I think I think this will probably be on my top albums by the end of the year, for sure. Um, but I really, really enjoyed this one. I'm actually glad that I actually got to do the album review. I'm so sorry that it took me so long to do so. Um, but you know, life is tough sometimes. 
um but it's better late than never i guess and thank you guys so much for requesting and for being patient as well um because you guys have been waiting for me to do it and you guys have been asking and like when is the bi coming out and um but here it is guys i'm hoping that you guys enjoy the first part and also this one if you guys are new to the channel you should subscribe subscribe to the channel um this is i'm gonna be kind of a bit more active on my channel just because i have covid and i'm literally stuck in my room pretty much up until i get better so i'm um, whenever i feel like i feel better i will film and i will post extra stuff and extra things that you guys have been asking for and things that i want to be able to react to as well that are coming out and stuff like that so as soon as you subscribe you should also hit the notification bell Thank you to get notified whenever I post and also give this video a like and all the shenanigans you guys know everything you guys know what you gotta do um but thank you guys so much let me know in the comments down below which is your favorite song from the whole entire album or which is the favorite song from this from these six uh, songs that I reacted to in the second part but thank you guys so much for every comment for everything I love you guys so much until next time bye bye